Why should I be trained to perform peripheral bronchoscopy? So the numbers of CAT scans worldwide for the lungs is increasing, so therefore the number of nodules is increasing. And when you want to be in that business, then you should be trained how you have access to those little lesions with the solutions Olympus offers you. Peripheral bronchoscopy is big because now tumors have, instead of being more central, they're predominantly peripheral tumors. So really, if you're going to effectively diagnose our patients, you need to be able to do peripheral bronchoscopy. I think it's very important to focusing on the PPL because we have to deal with a lot of adenocarcinoma, which are peripheral, and we have to perform a lot of CT scan for lung screening program and discovering a lot of peripheral lung nodules. So it's very important to perform the diagnosis of these nodules. The endobronchial approach, um, in my opinion, is a standard and the TTNA is an alternative. This is because of patient safety, this is because of risk of a spread of metastasis in the pleural space, and this is last but not least because um, it is necessary to do mediastinal staging and you can do this at once in one procedure if you do a bronchoscopy. So I do the bronchoscopy approach to the peripheral lung nodules because uh, it's simple and it's less invasive comparing to the surgery. Well, what we've seen over the last decade is the transition from more central endobronchial tumors to more peripheral tumors. So therefore, we now need to develop better tools uh, and learn how to sample peripheral lesions more effectively to try and diagnose and in the future maybe treat these patients as well. We need to be experts at peripheral sampling.